So this is the All Blacks, uh, New Zealand's All Black rugby team. Keith Murdoch was a popular player with them. He was uh, known for his thick shoulders, handlebar mustache, and for scoring the All Blacks only try against Wales in 1972's win. Fresh from the big win against Wales, Murdoch and a few teammates went to the Angel Hotel, a popular drinking establishment for rugby players. Much of the athletes, <clears throat> much to the athletes' dismay, the place was closed for the evening, and due to a combination of anger and drunkenness, Murdoch punched one of the Angel Hotel's security guards in the head. When word of the previous night's violent behavior reached the All Blacks coaching staff, Murdoch was disgracefully sent home, creating a media firestorm. The last time the majority of the world would see Murdoch was after he exited a plane and walked quietly past reporters with his head down, and thus began the off-and-on disappearance of one of New Zealand's finest rugby players. Since his dismissal from Wales, Murdoch spent the better part of 40 years living as a recluse, moving from town to town, hiding from family, friends, and journalists who were curious to hear the story. Most speculated it was shame that forced him into self-exile. Since the punch heard round the world, there had only been two notable appearances of Murdoch. One occurred after four years after the event in Wales when an investigative reporter covertly tracked him down when the reporter tried to approach him. Murdoch raised a large, large wrench and suggested he might be better for the reporter to turn around and get back on the road. The second appearance was more recent involving Murdoch being called to testify after a 20-year-old man broke into his house and disappeared the next day. The boy's body was found weeks later abandoned in a mine. Murdoch was never charged. <laughs>